Okay, go ahead. What's your name? Uh, Meaton. Meaton? Mona. Mona. And where are you guys from? Uh, London. London. And uh, if you were voting, I take it you can't vote. Yeah. But if you were, who would you vote for? Kerry. Yeah, okay, go ahead and give me your reasons. Um, I just think it's to do with what, <laughs> what we've seen, what mess Bush has made. And then um, Blair just seems to follow Bush and acts as foreign minister anyway, so we need a change, we need someone with integrity. <laughs> and you think Kerry has integrity? Well, Bush doesn't seem to um, have the facts right, so perhaps it's time for a change. Part of you thinks better the devil you know, but perhaps Kerry seems to... Uh, sort of, we've seen a lot, we've seen more of him coming forward, stepping up. I just think Bush is... A few brain cells, sure. <laughs> what about you? What, what do you think? I just think that Kerry's probably more of a, a real person than Bush. Um, from what coverage we get in the UK, like Bush is almost like a puppet. You don't believe when he talks, you don't believe him. Not someone you can have a great deal of faith in. Um, what about Blair? <laughs> you have a lot of faith in him? I think he's a very charismatic guy. He is. In the sense that the way that Clinton was very charismatic. But the way he's going at the moment, it's not how are how are you how do you sum up how people react to him in England? In England? To Blair. Yeah. Um, he was very popular and uh, you can see he's lost his char his charisma, he's waning, um, the Chancellor, Gordon Brown is seem to take more control, he seems more powerful, and he could well be, he's, he's probably going to be the next leader. When does that happen? Uh, it's not yet decided. It could be over, any time over the next six months. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Devin Reynolds. Devin, and uh, who are you voting for? It won't be Bush. Okay. Because, Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he has a heart, period. He has no compassion. He shouldn't be a, the, the president. Why do you say that? So much has happened since he's been in, in, in office. I really think they should have kept Clinton. Seriously, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. My name's uh, Christy Kickham, uh, and I am voting for John Kerry for president. And you want to know why? Yeah. Um, one thing that John Kerry says that um, appeals to me is that he says he's going to um, regain respect through the rest of the world. So that means a lot to me, and uh, um, I don't know, I think Bush has had his chance and kind of screwed it up. I don't think he's a great leader. He might be a good politician, but that's what I feel. Okay. So, we ready? On. Yeah. We're on? We're on. Okay. I'm going to vote for John Kerry because the most important election in the entire history of the United States, this time we're going to count the votes. It's not going to be a little Supreme Court shoe-in, and he's going to lose. And we're going to have a new administration on January 20th, period, bang. And if anybody out there is a woman, vote for John Kerry so womanhood won't be set back 200 years. And let's get the hell out of Iraq. My name is Madge Ginn, and I'm going to vote for Kerry. I think he's a more capable leader, and I think that he will help get us out of the mess we're in. Okay. Terrific. You feel that we're in a mess? Yeah, I do. What, what do you mean by that? Well, I think that the situation in Iraq is terrible and that we have to try and make it better and try and get out of there. I'm afraid that was a big mistake. Mm -hmm. I live on the island. Uh, I'm going to vote for Kerry. I like his foreign policy attitude. I also like his a strong uh, feeling and attitude about small business, the little guy. And uh, to help the uh, big majority in the country the middle class. I think he's very strong on trying to do something about that. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm voting for John Kerry because I don't believe in the war in Iraq. I'm voting for Kerry because I think that there is a desperate need for change in this country right now, that Bush's international policies are absurd and I just think he needs to go, basically. That's my spiel. Oh, I'm voting for um, John Kerry. Okay. And um, I'm mostly voting for John Kerry because I feel that we do need a change. And um, 
looking forward to bringing our troops back from Iraq. I what kind of a change do we need? Well, I feel that uh, there have been too many decisions that have been made in the during the Bush campaign that haven't been decisions for the good of America and the world. I think that we need to be more worldly about how Americans' decisions affect other people. Yeah, I'm voting for Mr. Kerry and Senator Kerry and um, I'm from the West Coast, visitor from California and I think we need a change here. And, uh, um, why, what, why do we need a change? What, well, what is it? Well, I, th I think we went into a war without uh, any good uh, good reason to do that, and uh, we need to have a good way to get out of it. And I'm worried about the future economy and uh, healthcare system, and uh, so I think it's time for a change. Uh, in the presidential election, I'm going to vote for George Bush. Um, I believe uh, in what he stands for. I believe he's a good person. And uh, I think he's doing the right thing for uh, our um, our country as far as uh, the war in Iraq is concerned. There's a job that started and needs to be finished. And, uh, okay. And why do you think that he's a good person? Well, I mean, he's a, a moral person, I believe. Um, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this, the uh, decisions he's made um, are based on facts. And... Um, I believe that he's he's doing he's doing as best he can with the situation that he has, and uh, so that's about it. Really. And uh, your views on Kerry, if he were to win? Um, huh. Views on Kerry, if he were to win, I think it would, we'd be in a different situation over in Iraq right now. I I don't think the job would be done. Uh, he said that it would be finished within, I believe he said six months. Uh, an article I read, and uh, that's hard to believe that he would uh, finish a war in six months, you know, that's, it's a, it's a long ongoing process that needs to be finished and uh, I think if we were to um, switch our administration right now, it would send a message to the rest of the world that um, America really doesn't back our, our policies, so that's pretty much it, you know.